The death of Wagner Group founder Yevgeny Prigozhin and his right-hand man marks the end of a bloody feud between the mercenary company in Moscow. Prigozhin and Commander Dmitry Ukin were killed in a fiery plane crash about 100 miles from Moscow. The plane crash came just ahead of the two-month anniversary of Prigozhin's failed rebellion against Russian President Vladimir Putin. That left many to speculate if the Russian leader was involved in a sort of shadowy assassination plot. The Kremlin has publicly denied any role in the plane crash, but the U.S. says it believes an explosive device may have took the plane down and the incident is consistent with Putin's history of silencing critics. Putin eulogized Prigozhin during a rare television appearance, but has otherwise avoided talking about the mercenary leader who once challenged his authority. After losing its main leadership, Wagner Group now faces an uncertain future. Many analysts say that Putin will now likely appoint his own loyalists and try to control the private military company.